Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like the video, share the video, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe. Listen, whatever you feel that you're being guided to do, I absolutely do support you in that energy. As long as you're supporting yourself in the energy, then listen. Who cares who's supporting you in the energy and who's not? But I absolutely do support you, so I hope you care. But if this is your first time coming across the channel, nine times out of 10, Spirit guided you here for a reason. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that there's something here that is going to be a confirmation for you or maybe somebody that you're wondering about, somebody that you're close to, right? Needless to say, I pray that you can discern for yourself what messages belong to you. And again, what doesn't, just leave it on the table for somebody else to take. If you're returning back to the channel, then welcome to the late night reading. I'm talking a little lower than normal, but if I got to holla at the commercial breaks, then I absolutely will if need be. Listen, newcomers, commercial breaks are something that have taken on a life of their own, but we absolutely do appreciate and or look forward to the commercial breaks. I don't know about anybody else, but I know I do. Lately, judgment season has not been leaving room for commercial breaks and the commercial breaks have been real, right? Woo, congratulations, newcomers. You just survived your first prerequisite to your first commercial break. Come on in, have a seat. I love you for free over here. I absolutely do. My beautiful soul tribe. Listen, are y'all getting these downloads? These uploads, these downloads, these understandings, these understandings, these overstandings, underdigging, overdigging. Listen, the people over there, us right here, it's no comparison. The energies are so opposite that people really don't know how to handle us. We are the anomaly floating through the ethers. Excuse me. <clears throat> there could be somebody that wants to distract us. Listen, I'm just here to let you know that the cosmos are cosmoing. Mercury will be Mercury Gretchen, what a, what a, Mercury Gretchen rating. <laughs> Mercury will be retrograding. The moon is mooning in our favor. The moon is mooning us. It really is by way of us releasing all of this unnecessary, unwanted and trapped energy is what I like to call it by way of things that we just no longer need. But let me just go ahead and get into this energy. This is going to be for what goes around, comes around type of an energy. You're gonna find that people are being guided to forgive in a way that it doesn't mean that they want to return back to somebody, but they're forgiving in a way that is very pure with intentions, right? Yeah, so sometimes people think that just because you forgive an ex-lover or somebody that you weren't in a relationship or somebody that you have to co-parent with, it means that you want to be back with them. Absolutely not. Not at this level of the ascension. However, you understand that forgiveness is something that you need to offer yourself before you do it for anybody else and or offer to anybody else rather, right? These are new cards, y'all. Just a little another commercial break before we get started. Aren't they cute? Look at the back of them. They're so shiny. Wait till you see the front. It's going to surprise you. It's so nice. Let's go ahead and dive into this energy, okay? But what goes around comes around type of an energy is just, it's necessary, you know? It really is. It's just a necessary energy by way of the ascension. And so we're falling in like, we're falling into suit or everything's falling into place by way of order. Okay, I've been getting a lot of synchronicities. Like today I went somewhere, something was $11.88. I went somewhere else and then it was like $32.33. I went somewhere else and what was it when I went to the gas pump? $28.83, like two eight eight three. Like the synchronicities are like, I just expect it at this point. I'm like, I should save all my receipts in one day just for shits and giggles to share it with everybody. But I know that you two are getting the confirmations. So let me just go ahead and dive into this energy. My beautiful higher self, beautiful ascended masters, the source of all things, the highest of white lights. Yeah, the lovers. Yeah. Mm. What goes around comes around. This is a different type of love. Look at how pretty that card is. Do you guys love it? Look at the art. Did I not tell you that you're going to love it? The lovers is at the bottom. 
I know, right? Isn't it something? I just feel like I'm having a moment. I'm so mesmerized by the art. Isn't this beautiful? It was wrapped so beautifully. Like the person who prepared these cards. Oh my God, shout out to you. I'm going to send this person a really nice review. Just the packaging was done with so much love and care that I felt it. Like I was so excited. There was so much good energy on the package. I just, I'm grateful, eternally grateful. But listen, the lovers, what goes around comes around. So now again, this is love in its purest form though. This is beyond just reconciliation by way of having a sexual encounter, right? We've mastered that. We've mastered that by way of celibacy and or abstaining from certain energies, right? That we don't want to entertain and or take into our bodies because we understand just how difficult it was, right? To break some of those soul ties. Like, yo, real commercial break. We can't be laying down with anybody, even if it was good, even if they are good, even if whatever they had going on was going on, right? This is a more mature, pure love. It's a cosmic love. It's a love and gratitude for, um, it's a love and gratitude for healing and peace between people, right? So somebody, you know, could be like, oh my God, they're talking again, you know? Oh, they're going to get back together. It doesn't necessarily mean that. We're talking about love at its purest and rarest form by way of understanding and understanding, right? Where, you know, you could look at somebody that you thought maybe you would dislike forever and all you feel for them is compassion. Even if it means that they're moving forward with somebody else, you're totally okay with that. Like, yeah, let's get into this real love. The Ten of Wands, listen... Somebody could have, you know, wanted to come back around. I don't know if you can see the Ten of Wands. Okay. But this this particular, I guess, filter that's on could be a little too bright for these colors. But we'll fix it by way of cinematography on the next reading. But at the bottom, it's written in script. It says Ten of Wands. The art is just so colorful, so beautiful. I always have to have color because it makes me happy when I do my job. Yeah. So listen, another commercial break. I don't know what you're going to do with that information, but somebody could do something with that. What I just told them, it's random. <laughs> but the lovers, what goes around, comes around. Somebody's a little weighed down, okay? Queen of Wands could be very, very significant. Look how pretty the Queen of Wands is. Ooh, isn't she glamorous? I mean, I can barely make it through the reading. I'm just so enamored by the cards. They're fresh out the box. They're so crispy. I love it when I get a crispy deck that's fresh, you know? I prayed over them. I've dedicated them to the universe and the cosmos and my higher self, the creator of all things. So they do and say exactly what it is we need them to do and say at the right time. And right now we're revealing the what goes around comes around type of an energy by way of this cosmic love. Yeah, listen, six of wands. Oh, goodness. Somebody wants a victory with you. Somebody could not know how to come back in. Somebody's trying to take the first step by way of coming back in, okay? Six of Wands is a victory, right? Ten of Wands is being weighed down by way of love. Somebody has to love you differently this time around. And again, this is not about sex. This is about wanting the best for yourself and wanting a healthy relationship. But somebody wants a genuine reconciliation the will of fortune, again, I told you, it's the what goes around, comes around type of an energy. Look at, get a gander at that. Get a gander at the will of fortune. I know, isn't she nice? But anyway, listen, what goes around, comes around by way of the will of fortune. Um, somebody knows it. Yeah, the queen of pentacles. Listen, you're very stable. Somebody's watching you be very independent, very stable. The queen of pentacles is earthy energy. You're grounded. Somebody's watching you shine, Okay. It wouldn't be a reading if judgment didn't come out. Look at judgment. Isn't she so pure and fair? Judgment's here. Yeah, look, I don't know what else to say. Also, the death card. You've gone through a transformation. Somebody knows that they have to approach you differently. They can't come in with the same old talk. They can't come in. Yeah, they can't come in with just saying what they used to say. Why? Because you're not the same person. And even if you reconciling on a personal level, and or by way of a relationship is not on the table, this person has to accept the fact that they could very well just be 
in a certain position to love you either from afar or just be positioned at a certain place in your life by way of some of them could feel as though you're friend zoning them, right? Okay, well, friendship is the best love ever, but somebody's weighed down. Somebody wants more, but somebody does not know how to approach you. I'm getting somebody who's really like at a loss for words and doesn't know what to say. Like I see somebody having conversations in their mind and they're just like stuck. You know, it's it's really giving me a pure, innocent, I know why the wheel is spinning in your favor type of an energy. Like somebody knows why the wheel is in your favor. And just to be in your energy is very um, overwhelming by way of what they feel. Their feelings are getting the best of them. What goes around comes around. The star is here. Isn't this beautiful? The star represents wish fulfillments. Ooh, something being written in the stars. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Somebody's in regret though. Somebody's in regret. Somebody wants to come in and give you some type of cup of love, some type of offer, friendship. Somebody wants to start out mature. Somebody wants to do something different. Again, this don't always have to be the opposite sex, whatever. This could be a friend that wants to come in and start a new friendship. This could be a parent. This could be family members. This is a lot of people who are returning by way of this judgment, Libra, and energy. It is not only judgment, but it's liberating. It's setting a lot of situations free. And remember, the more you ascend, it is forcing people that thought they would be connected to you or want to be connected to you to go within and look at themselves. You're a reflection of what it is that they need to change. They know that they can't just approach you any kind of way. The way that you're loving on yourself is warranting people to show you some type of respect because you're showing yourself respect, right? And in that, there's requirements, there's guidelines, there's, you know, uh, there's rules, there's obligations like, yo, hold up, let's have a real commercial break. You can't just run up in here and run up on me. I'm not the same person that I was, although I do respect you by way of love and light, as a brother, as a sister, as someone who has every right to be here in the world and deserves love just like I do. And even if that love is not with me, I'm okay with that. Ooh, I felt that in my soul. Listen, what is this? Justice. Ooh, Libra energy. Look at the justice energy. Okay. Justice, balance, duality. You're saying two, two, two. Okay. Somebody's really weighed down. Somebody's really weighed down. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. This came out. This is what I saw in my mind's eye. This is the Ten of Wands. This one right here is the Two of Wands. Somebody knows that you have a choice between two. See those two wands there? They know that you have choices. This is giving me a lot of Gemini energy, a lot of lover's energy. Um, but the choice that you're making is one with yourself. Somebody knows that they treated you unfairly. Page of Wands came up with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck by way of somebody looking at themselves. Again, your change is making somebody have to look at themselves. Like, it's inevitable. Like, yeah, bruh, you got to look in the mirror. Yeah, sis, you got to look at yourself because of how you've changed. And they know they can't approach you the same way. So again, it's forcing them to look at themselves. It's like, yo, I really got to come new or don't come at all. Yeah, right. Even if it's just to say hi. who there's requirements. So what goes around comes around type of an energy. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Ooh, these cards are real crispy, y'all. So bear with me. I should have put some powder on them. Ooh, show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the hangman. Some, somebody feels stuck. Somebody's afraid that you're going to walk away. They want to respond and or apologize. Yeah, seven of swords. They know that they didn't do right by you. But here's the thing. Even in their energy, the seven of swords, they're hiding their feelings. <laughs> like sneaky and deceptive, like hiding the way they truly feel. They really, they really are full of a lot of emotions for you. But again, this is after having to go within having to see themselves a certain way is why they know that they really feel a certain way about you. Yeah, that going within is everything, isn't it? The page of cups, this person knows that you deserve an apology. 
but they rather show you through action. The sneaky and deceptive is letting me know that they just want to let bygones be bygones and let it be water under the bridge and move forward. But to show you by way of action, because they're saying, if I say I'm sorry or I apologize, what good is that going to do? Page of Cups is giving me, let me show you that I really mean well. Oof. Somebody is really, really um, kind of prepared for the fact that you very well could turn down their offer. The Eight of Cups is you walking away down the yellow brick road. <laughs> Twerking down the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. That's my little nighttime, you know. Follow the yellow brick road. Listen, the hangman. Somebody doesn't know they're stuck like a truck in the rut, in the gut, in the, the yeah, it's a whole bunch going on. Listen, they don't know. They don't know how it's going to turn out. And the fact that they don't have foresight this particular time and they don't know how to talk to you, this could have been somebody that maybe felt in the past like, yeah, I know you, but now they don't know you. They have to get to know you again. And you're like in this, let me reintroduce myself or maybe I won't by way of the eight of cups because either way I'm okay and I'm at peace with myself. But just know that you cannot come around even to offer me an apology by way of your actions and showing me that you're different if you're not up to par, I'm going to intuitively feel the person that you once knew is no longer. So what are you reaching for by way of saying that you love me when you don't even know me? Ooh, we, you don't even know the new me. Ooh, let me reintroduce myself. Somebody's saying, I know you and you're like, how? I'm not the same. I'm a brand new person. I'm not obligated to be that person that you thought you needed to love, that you wanted to love or whatever you needed by way of your own selfish pursuits. This is this is like authenticity by way of pure love, like for self, which is why you can walk in your truth and say it so, you know, um, aggressively, right? Like commanding it. Yeah. By way of like, yo, this is what it is. It can come off very aggressive, but it's Queen of Swords energy like, yo, back up. I've done a lot of work on myself. I'm going to need you to give me 50 feet. Somebody just wants to touch you. Somebody just wants to be next to you, near you. You can find that people just want to touch you, right? Okay. They just want to be near you. Four of Wands. This is a, t a twin soulmate journey. I was almost about to stutter. <laughs> Somebody could find it difficult getting their words out. They absolutely do. I just said, King of Swords, listen, they know that you are not with the shit. You will pull out this sword. And the sword is very wise because it's a self-preservation type of a wisdom. It's like, hold up. I'm going to protect myself at all costs because I cannot depend on anybody else to do that for me. Even if you come along and show me by way of action. Yeah. Ooh, page of Pentacles. Listen, somebody could be waiting to hear from you. All right. The Hierophant. You've spiritually grown to a rank that it's like, you got to show me some type of respect. Where's my Hierophant? Can you see the Hierophant? Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Ooh, he's so black. He purple. Hey, Mr. Purple. <laughs> the Hierophants. Spiritual leader. You are, you're a spiritual guru. Period. Period. Somebody wants to come in and collaborate with you. Somebody wants to see what it is that they can create with you but you're not looking for just random people you're attracting what it is that you want okay this could have been somebody that wanted you to chase them in the past and now i just feel like the tables have turned and what goes around comes around and here we are again and now you're different and this person is watching you love on yourself and it's a very interesting thing it's almost like they're studying you right when in all reality, they should be studying themselves. That's going to be the best bet. The reason I say that is because you keep changing. You keep growing. You keep elevating. You keep rising to the occasion of being the best version of yourself. And you're not letting yourself down. You're committed to yourself in a way that is quite appealing to a lot of people around you, whether they want to accept that or not. I don't believe, honestly in my heart that you are mindful of how many people are watching you because you're like, if I'm watching me, then who's watching them watch me? I'm watching me. I'm not aware because this is not for anybody. My, my transformation is somewhat being televised, but it's a very private experience, right? By way of what it is that I'm agreeing to keep 
uh, these promises with myself and to myself, right? Okay, dang, loving on self. This is what self-love looks like. Archangel Michael, show me what it is I need to see but by this what goes around comes around energy. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's watching you be stable. Somebody's watching you be independent. Somebody's watching you um, be self-sufficient. It's very attractive and very appealing. And they want to be friends. Oh, Lord. The Queen Pen and the King Pen came out. Lord, have mercy. Twin flame energy, soulmate energy. You could be drawn in all of your twin flames. Look at the art. Don't you love it? This is the Queen of Pentacles. She's stable. She's grounded. She's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy by way of her worldly affairs. She's grounded and in order. Somebody's watching you be that and it is inspiring them to get their shit together. The King of Pentacles is coming up saying, if nobody's going to love you, then I want to be the one to love you. And you're like, well, that nobody is not nobody. That somebody is me. I love me even if you don't. So this person is saying like, listen, I need you to be by my side. I need to co-create with you. The Knight of Cups is a very innocent offer by way of love. This person is coming in with an offer to love you. Knight of Cups energy. Whew. Whew. Very privately though. They could be very quiet with people around them, not telling people what they're up to. But this person definitely has something up their sleeve, something that they're planning, and they can't wait anymore. I can't, I can't make it up. The wheel of fortune is the what goes around, comes around type of an energy. Somebody can't wait anymore. Yeah, that two of wands and that ten of wands, somebody's like, hold up. This person is out here shining. This is a whole empress. This is a whole emperor out here ready to build an empire, be it with somebody or alone. But in reality, you're not alone. You got your divine spirit guides. You got your higher self and you're satisfied, right? So what do you give a woman that has absolutely everything? What do you give a man that has absolutely everything? Somebody is saying to the person that has everything, here I am. This is what this person is saying. Hold on, my dog is shaking the table. Have a seat. This is what this person is saying. Like, yeah, nah. How do I give you everything when you are everything to yourself? You're not lacking anything, right? Show me what I need to see. Whoa, you're making this person go within. You're making them realize things about themselves that maybe they did not want to admit. This person is going back and forth. Dink, uh, 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 thinking, excuse me, very deeply. I mean, it just got so thick. I almost couldn't get the, the words out. Two of Pentacles is going back and forth, balancing, juggling, uh, weighing the options, right? By way of how to come in and give you some type of an offer. This person is really disappointed at how they fumbled you. They could be thinking about what it could have, should have type of an energy. I don't think you're available for it, but somebody is rising to the occasion. Yeah, they're thinking about how they broke your heart. The Knight of Swords, you know, represents somebody who has courage to move forward. Somebody that wants to, um, you know, do the right thing. So somebody's coming in with an attitude of courage, you know. They're like, I have to muster up the courage. The Three of Wands represents uh them either moving towards you or maybe this person's at a distance whatever is going on this person cannot hold back their feelings anymore like maybe there was a little bit of stubbornness here like no he's gonna come to me she's gonna come to me meanwhile you're meeting your higher self <laughs> in the middle right you had a talk with the old self meeting with the higher self and said, listen, this is what we're going to do. And this is where we're going. No matter who's coming and going with us, we will get everything that we need as we're on this journey. So as you're in this meeting with your higher self, you're looking really appealing to a lot of people by way of you loving on yourself. Damn, this is deep. The sun represents you being the bright and shining star. You're loving on self and it's looking really, really good all over you, divine collective, somebody's in heavy regret. Somebody's going to get left out in the cold because what I'm getting now is that this is a lot of suitors. Yeah, Spirit says, what I'm saying, look, is the truth. Somebody knows they have to come with the truth because you are the truth. You are the living word of the truth. You are the walking, breathing epitome of what the truth looks like by way of self. And you know it. 
you like, you can't come along and just tell me anything. The truth is here. Ace of Swords. Somebody says, you are my Ten of Cups. Page of Cups, they want to apologize. Look at my Page of Cups. Somebody wants to come in and apologize. Somebody wants to come in and offer really a genuine offer. They could want to tell you some type of truth. Maybe that they don't think that you know, but I don't even think you need it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think you're so far beyond the healing point. You know that, I mean, what I mean by the healing point, like maybe this was a really difficult relationship and or relationships to get through because I'm getting siblings, I'm getting family, I'm getting people that just want to come in and start over, right? But I think what you needed then at the time that you were hurt and or betrayed by whatever it was, you no longer are requiring an apology. So somebody thinks that that's what you need. It's like, no, that's what you need to give me in order for you to be okay. I'm okay because everything is fine. I've accepted things for what they are. I'm okay. So this page of cups and then somebody wants to confess something. You're like, listen, confess it to yourself. It doesn't matter. Because now I'm here at my higher level and I'm okay with what has happened. Again, this is taking me back to the what goes around comes around like somebody is having to reintroduce themselves or not at all. Somebody don't know how to talk to you anymore, right? The way they used to talk to you is not the way that they can talk to you anymore. What used to fascinate you is not fascinating to you anymore. You've changed and you're saying I'm not required again to be who it is that you need me to be. I cannot make it up prayed over these brand new cards, but the death card is here. Death represents transformation, scorpionic energy, and the rebirth. Somebody is terrified, afraid, amazed, enamored, inspired, terrified. Did I say terrified? Horrified about your transformation. They're all those emotions. They are an entire slew of emotions is what they are. Ooh, y'all see the light change? That was deep. Ooh, that's deep. Let's just get into it. Ooh, that's heavy. Let's take it. I like it. But anyway, listen, somebody is intimidated, scared, like I said, fascinated, enamored, stuck in awe obsessed with your change believe it or not you're inspiring somebody to change even if that inspiration again is not for them to ever be who they need to be for you you really are like that's fine inspire yourself be who you need to be yes uh, what is it seven of wands somebody knows that you're very spiritually protected highly protected they can't come in and play any games but they're afraid that you won't give them a new chance to be close to them because now again, you're satisfied. This is what I need people to understand by way of a real commercial break. Listen, I'm good all by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. It's Neo. Yeah. What does that mean? I'm a whole person, right? wanting to come together with another whole person i'm not missing and or lacking anything because i have myself if nobody else i've i've made a decision about feeling alone and what lonely looks like they're two different polar opposite type of energies and i've come to this beautiful understanding that i'm never alone because i have my higher self i have my spirit team i have myself Ooh, total love, self-love. This person can't come in expecting codependency. If they're coming in thinking that you're going to be checking their cell phone and going back to how things were, you like, that's fine. Mm -mm. Because if you fumble me, even if it's by way of me even allowing you to have a conversation, then that's a choice that you've made and I support you in the energy. Listen, ooh, 10 of cups, somebody, somebody, you know, there's a lot of people that don't realize they need people to be jealous. There's a lot of people that that feed off of your insecurities that like to make you jealous, play mind games. Like, what is that? You like mm -mm. this person, if this is what they're wanting back or maybe they're thinking about 
how they played these games is what I'm getting. They know that they can no longer play these games. Somebody is like, yo, I can't even call you until I'm serious. But somebody's dragging their feet and somebody knows that you have a lot of choices. Ooh, I just feel like your number one choice is yourself. <laughs> I don't know, 10 of cups. Somebody's watching, get your 10 of cups. If you're giving, I'm going to get this 10 of cups with or without you, them, they, listen. And I got my soul tribe. And I got people that like who I am because I like who I am and I like who they are. It's a very organic, loving experience. I'm not lacking anything. So if you're reaching for my insecurities, they don't exist. Ooh, I just heard I'm fearless. Jesus Christ. Two of Pentacles, you got somebody thinking and thinking, honey. Thinking and thinking and thinking again. Nine of Cups. Somebody saying you are my wishes to be fulfilled. Whew. My goodness, my goodness, hunty, on the late night read, Friday night, listen, somebody going to get pregnant tonight. I hope you with your divine masculine, and I hope you with your divine feminine by way of what you co-creating as you're pointing your toes to the stars under this moon. Let me tell you, whoo, don't let your body get away from your spirit. You got to make a real conscious decision about who you're with. And I pray that your higher self is leading you to a really good union by way of making love in a spiritual way, right? Thinking good thoughts while you're laying down with your partner. Yeah. Knowing that spirit has guided you two together. Yeah, out of being connected to the spirit, not out of just lustful, you know, pursuits, right? Yeah, you've mastered that. What is it that we need to see about this situation? Holy Spirit, somebody says I'm coming to get you. Okay, well, where are you coming to? See, stuff like that, I, I don't listen. Let me just have a real commercial break. If somebody come tell me, yeah, somebody's competing for your time. Somebody knows that you have a lot of suitors. Listen, if somebody comes and tells me I'm coming to get you, I'm so sarcastic, but I don't try to be. I'll be like, wait a minute, excuse me? Coming to get me from where? <laughs> Hold up. You know, this is giving me, you know, stalker energy. I'm gonna need you to ask permission. You can't just come find me. Four of Wands, this is a soulmate. Somebody wants to come to where you are. They need to see you. They want to touch you. Somebody's just saying, let me be in your presence. It's like, yeah, back, back. Hold up. Give me some space. I'm going to need you to back up. You're giving me codependency um, energy. I'm going to need you to go within. But even if you don't, I, again, I, I, I'm moving about this path. You're going to have to catch up to me being my better self. The four of wands is soulmate energy, a union that's protected. Somebody wants another chance. It's a lot of people that want another chance by way of the lovers okay there's a mother that is feeling very remorseful for something that she did to you there's a father that's questioning his mortality i just get all of this energy there's a sister that wants to come back in a cousin friend a best friend six of cups people from the past why because this judgment is making people really see things very clearly if they did not see them before they absolutely are seeing them very crystal clear now it's inevitable. Whew, commercial mother freaking break. Listen, excuse me. I'm stuttering over my words because the energy is just so deep. Commercial break. What the hell is going on here? Do y'all see this energy? Somebody is like, I'm coming back into your life. I've changed and I need you to understand this. And I want to give all this newness, this best part of myself to you and be with you in life. Somebody is saying nobody else deserves this best version of me but you. Damn. Huh? It's like they're saying this new, new, you deserve this new version of me. Committed to loving on myself. Being honest. Loyal. Yeah, somebody wants to show you just how much they've changed. Ooh, Lord. Was just a real commercial break you went through a whole transformation several times over this person's trying to catch up by way of transformations they better hope they catch up to you on time yeah listen intuitively somebody is following their intuition somebody is no longer clouded by way of their judgment about who they are who you are and what they want to be to you and what they need you to be to them baby 
somebody wants to reinstate the soul contract. I'm getting lover's energy when I think of that. I'm getting an emperor and an empress. Thank you, spirit. Empress at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that wants to build an empire. Meanwhile, you a whole queen of swords out in this piece. You like, uh-huh. State your case, but stand right there. Give me 20 feet. Uh-huh. Say that again. Okay. One thing that I catch a bad vibe on, it's going to be like, Ooh, no, thank you. They're, they know you're not playing. They know that you invoke towers. By way of your spiritual authority, you invoke a tower. You like, I will call judgment on your ass. You do realize that, right? There is no way, in no way do I want to abuse my power, but I will use it when need be because that's just what it is. Somebody is intimidated, fascinated, <laughs> horrified, tormented, enamored, and in love with the new version of you. You've caused a lot of people to transform, even if they never admit it. I don't think it matters to you anyway. You're feeling as though my work here is done. Even if I don't reconcile with any of you, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I understand that I was the gift. You were the gift. In a lot of ways, you were the best teacher to me because look at who I am now. And even if you don't see who I am, I see who I am and I'm okay with that. Because I'm not getting this, oh, look at me, I've changed. No, I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that that would be stating the obvious. Okay, well, you know, it's giving Ace of Pentacles energy. It's giving I'm chilling in the ether's energy. It's giving I've sailed to calmer waters by way of forgiving myself and everybody else. And I'm good with the way life has turned out. You are in your nine of cups because you have yourself and you're happy about it. Somebody's afraid that this is not going to work out. They're watching you be very, very spiritual. You could have gone through several like cycles of spirituality. Maybe you believe something at a certain point in your life and now you've changed. Now the idea of who you are has changed, right? Show me what I need to see by way of the nine of cups. Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Somebody's on the run, honey. Somebody don't know what to do. Somebody's trying to chase after you. That's a lot of doggone cards, spirit. Jeez, the hermit forcing them to go within. Ace of Wands wanting a new beginning. They want to celebrate with you. This person also is going through a transformation. The moon, they're afraid that what they did to you, the secrets of what they did to you is going to make you see them as a hidden enemy is what they're saying. They're afraid that you're going to walk away. Fear is not a good energy to be addicted to. I recommend that if you're looking to go towards a divine being that you eliminate all fear. They're going to sense it. They're going to sniff it out and they won't entertain it. They're not willing to get into your sick bed. That's just for a cross watcher that could be thinking that they want to go towards some divine feminine, divine masculine, or a parent going towards their child to reconcile. The queen of pentacles, this person is grounded. They're independent all by themselves. The three of pentacles, they're collaborating with people that love them. They are the empress. This is fertile energy, giving birth to new ideas and resurrecting things that need to be brought back to life. This is the Empress energy. But don't think that this person is going to resuscitate you for you. Your happiness and your joy is your own responsibility. So come correct, grow or go, or don't come at all. Whoo, strength. The Knight of Swords is here. Listen, they need to understand that you are waging war on anything that you think even gives you one feeling of a vibe that is off. That's not calibrated. Whew. I just heard hellhounds. You got hellhounds at the gate. Like, quit playing. I will cast that ass into a hell. You better back it up. I've done too much work. Whoo, Lord. Family members want to come back. You know, this is a time that people start to get nostalgic. Yeah, somebody's spying. Somebody's thinking about a betrayal, watching you move forward. They're talking about it, watching you get a victory. A lot of offers. Closing out cycles, Knight of Cups. Somebody's really turned on as a lover. Whoever this lover is, they are turned on by your change. Like, for real. And you like, oof, Jesus. This could have been somebody that you really, really wanted. And now you're just like, oh, okay. I kind of want myself now. You know, I've gone through a lot. And I'm like, oh my God, you changed. And you're like, thank you. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? You know, yeah, move on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Baby, this says move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. It's over. So one of these lovers is not all the way copacetic. 
Somebody is not 100. Somebody is not being honest and you feel it. And this is why they're weighed down. At the same time, you got a whole bunch of offers that are coming in that are authentic. Somebody is saying, I know I can't approach you by way of being not right. Like, yeah, no, that's right. Like, you need to keep it moving. Ooh, that card just flipped off the top. It's a no. <laughs> Who? It's a no for now. It says it's not the right time. Somebody could be holding back, feeling as though maybe enough time hasn't gone by. It says caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself when it comes to the situation at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has a confession. Somebody wants to confess something to you. Somebody wants to give certain something time. There's people here that, that will never get another chance is what I'm getting. I'm going to be honest. There's somebody here that could have been a missed opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Communicate. Somebody's going to be communicating with you soon. Compromise, forgive, and work it out. So there could be some type of reconciliation depending on if this is family, depending on if, if this is, yeah. Mm, somebody is stressed out that they could be having some health issues, okay? Somebody could be reminiscing about intimacy with you by way of lovers. So there are some people that are really going to be left out in the cold, like period. There's really no other ways to say it. Show me these people, Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, please and thank you. What is it that we need to see for the beautiful divine collective? Ooh, we late night reading. What goes around comes around. Somebody ain't getting another chance. Yeah. Whatever this is, somebody's got. Let me tell you something. If somebody chose somebody over you by way of a lover, by way of a parent, by way of a parent choosing another sibling over you, or whatever, whatever it was where you felt abandoned. And left out in the cold by anybody that you showed love to, okay? Be it a love relationship, a friendship, whatever. This person is in conflict and turmoil by way of this Libra and energy, by way of judgment. They're fighting with everybody around them. Not only is that Five of Wands representative of silent competition, it represents chaos. And somebody in inner turmoil, like internally, they could be fighting with themselves, which could have them very agitated with people around them. Show me what else I need to see by way of this five of wands, please. And thank you. Yeah, eight of wands. Something's going real, real fast, whatever this is. Okay. Five of wands represents something going fast. Damn. 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 Somebody's holding back right now. Somebody knows not to approach you unless they're all the way right. I'm getting a parent though. Four of Pentacles, this parent could have tried to hold you back. Yeah, King of Cups is also giving me father energy. Nine of Cups is giving me a child. Ten of Cups is giving me family. Uh, King, of, King of Pentacles is giving me an ex-husband or a husband. Nine of Wands, you got somebody that just want to come in and play around. You already in the Queen of Swords energy. Somebody's weighed down because you see right through them. Somebody has is never going to change. Somebody's a whole narcissist out in this bitch. There's <laughs> really nothing else to say. I mean, yeah, mm -mm. yeah, they want to trap you, strap you, come back and finish you off and destroy you. I'm not going to even lie. Then there's somebody else that feels as though there was a missed opportunity. They could have abandoned you. This is all love right here. What goes around comes around. Six of swords. You got family members that want to come to calmer waters. Um, pray about that. There's a child that somebody had to leave out in the cold. Maybe a karmic ass child. Damn. What's the outcome, spirit? Mm -hmm. You're manifesting something. They're manifesting something. Your manifestations are all that matter in the United States of yourself. Depending on what state you're in. And right now, you're in a state of peace and being grounded in or following your intuition. Damn. Damn. Somebody is still trying to manifest you. Wishful thinking. You're manifesting a whole ace of pentacles. Somebody could be pulling at your energy. Somebody knows that you're abundant. This person could be doing it in a very sneaky and deceptive ass way. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Well, this is the what goes around comes around reading. I just wanted to come out real quick and give you all a nice little soothing 
you know, divine collective reading with the new cards. I figured why not? You know, these cards are for all of us. They're a gift from the universe and we're grateful. The two of wands, you got a choice. You're going to have a choice to make. Go left, go right, go back, go forward. A lot of you are just moving forward. Somebody got their ass set down by spirit though. They can keep playing if they want to. Spirit sees everything. Somebody wants to attach a cord to you and they keep playing. They're going to get that ass taxed. Queen of Cups, somebody's mother wants to come back for a new beginning. They're sorry about trying to sacrifice you to the devil. Oh, really? Somebody's mama did witchcraft on them and sacrificed them and she's sorry. This could be because she knows that she doesn't have that much time. There's going to be a lot of karmic parents, unfortunately, for a lot of you, a lot of us that are going to pass away. Just by way of your ascension being so in, in depth, intense, by way of you breaking these curses and really getting to the root of the issue, not just for yourself, but for your entire family and or your lineage, that is going to require for certain people to literally just get snatched up out of the bloodline. And I hate to say it like that, but that's really what it is. It just can't go on anymore, right? So just hope that that person gets some type of favorable judgment and death and that they forgive themselves, even if you're not around or in their life or you never go back to see them and or reconcile that they can forgive themselves. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones that have to take that last breath, right? Yeah, trying to understand what it is that they're supposed to be doing at this point in their life could be quite difficult, especially when they're under judgment. It's not an easy thing to go through. Right? By any means. This is your message, though. I love you wherever you are on this beautiful planet. Until the next video. <laughs> Peace be with you.